Hello Visual Effects people, I'm AK. This is Fluid Ninja Live 1.2 with Volumetrics. Some of the features is available in all Ninja Live versions. Volumetric Fog, located on level 23. And some of the features, namely Volumetric Clouds, are available only under Unreal 4.26. So Ninja Live has been forked, branched, the two versions. You could check your version under Edit per Project Settings. And if your subversion is with 26, then you have the proper subversion for Unreal 4.26 to run the clouds. So let us have a look at the volume fog level first. Um, here's a short description on the key settings and the first stage is demonstrating a static texture defined volumetric cylinder and on the second stage we are further developing this concept by using the real-time two-dimensional fluid simulation as a height map to drive these volumetric clouds and the concept is the same for all stages on this level. The volumetric fog is driven with two-dimensional fluid simulation. And uh, I'm moving the mannequin to the next stage because it's a bit far away to take a walk. And this stage might be called Sleepy Hollow because we have this low-lying fog here and it's unlike previous ninja simulations which were very sensitive to camera angle here you could go down to FPS angle to a very low angle because this fog is a spatially extended three-dimensional structure and I'm moving on to the next stage Oh, yep, the laboratory. And I'm jumping in the middle. So, um, that's how it looks like to volumetric fog. It is influenced by point lights, it's dynamically responding to the actors overlapping the fluid simulation and it is receiving cast shadows although we don't have self shadows and no response to directional light so shortly that's it and we have one more stage uh, which is like uh, using this volumetric fog for trails right on so um, these are like technical demonstrations and we are going to explore these later on with use cases and now we are moving on to the volumetric cloud level so this is level 24a uh, we have a few instructions here this is for you to explore but best thing you could do is to press play and see how this uh, object on the right colliding with this uh, simulation plane is steering the fluid and the fluid simulation is mapped on the cloud structure up in the sky and you could uh, change the lightning using these uh, sliders direction and strength as well or you could remove the object and paint your own clouds I'm just restarting the simulation and starting to draw on this empty canvas and here we go and these clouds are slowly dying out because the brush, brush strokes have a low persistency in case you would like to uh, paint persistent structures you should switch on the preset manager and fine-tune a little bit 
the brush settings so I'm setting it to high highly persistent brush with a lower density and with a lower drag and let's see what we have mm -hmm. as I'm drawing here my structure uh, remains as it was and if I quit the simulation it keeps going because we have this volumetric flow map and I could change the material to give it a different look right now it's the default and here is this thing called the storm clouds and I'm restarting the simulation and starting to draw here and here we have our storm clouds or I could configure the whole thing to look like Aurora Borealis, the Northern Lights. Mm, here we go. So, uh, many possibilities. And again, these are just technical demonstration levels to show that the possibilities are here and let's move on to the next level and um, this level is demonstrating a situation 24b where we don't have interacting objects at all so the fluid simulation is completely uh, determined by a texture and the fluid parameters driving these velocity fields and user interaction and overlap detection and all these are completely switched off so it's a very efficient little fluid simulation here and if I move on to the next level here you could see uh, it's like a choreography I have this uh, thing colliding into the middle of the simulation plane and it is doing it periodically and so we are driving uh, like an impact event or explosion in the clouds and again I'm changing the material to make it a bit more stylized by the way I'm doing these material changes by selecting the volume cloud actor this has to be placed on level in order to have this thing in the sky so uh, let me change the material to stylized and set the camera speed like a 500 times faster and move on into the middle of this field uh -huh. So here is our stylized cloud ring and if I start playing the simulation right now I could see that it's happening this cloud impact thing and if I stop the simulation and I move above the clouds with the camera I could have a view up here so the point is that you could change the look of your clouds by using that material uh, by the way, let me have a look at that material quickly. So, uh, all volumetric stuff is located under Tutorial per Volumetrics. And we have like base materials for the fog and the clouds. And we have uh, material instances for the fog and the cloud. And here is uh, the guy called Stylized. And I could change these options real time. Um, yeah, for example, we have this uh, noise flowing on the clouds and if I would like to set the flow speed to a lower value, I could do that here and I could do that while running the simulation and uh, adjusting colors and behavior real time. So, um, adjusting the material in the same time and I could even switch on the preset manager and do these things uh, parallel 
while or in the same time. And so finally, let me move on to the last level of this demonstration, which is level 26. And it might look a bit silly, but I consider this guy a titan. And the difference compared to previous levels that the cloud container is up in the sky. As you could see, uh, this box is the interaction volume and it is detecting the hands of the Titan. And so as the Titan moves, um, all this collision information is captured with that large uh, interactive volume up in the clouds. So objects could actually interact with the clouds. You don't have to use this uh, separated containers that we have in the previous levels. Right, and finally let me uh, visit the guy up here above the clouds and have a look at his walk from this view angle. Mm -hmm. Here we go. So shortly that's it. Um, and later on there will be use cases for all this volumetric technology. It's just a, a technology demonstration right now. And all features documented in the manual, there is a dedicated chapter, chapter 24. So please have a look at that. Thank you for your patience and see you next time.